She's my age. You really think she's going to buy this place? I'm going to show you how to close on a 28-year-old. Hey, Beth. Let me break this down for you, okay? You're young. You got a good career going. You look like you're ready to leap into adulthood. But that's hard to do when you still have to label your food so your roomie doesn't steal it. So true. And say she doesn't get what bitch don't touch my pizza rolls means. Yeah. Beth, don't you feel like your grown-up life should start here? Hmm? I mean, I can see you drinking wine over there after you got engaged. Or sitting quietly on the balcony after your mom dies. Why did it go so dark? Well, I can't help it. Because this place is real. I mean, this is a home. This is your home. Yes. Plus, they redid the carpet since the previous owner was brutally murdered. Yeah, lots of blood. What? Wicked Jenny Jugster. What the... What the hell are you doing, Jules? I want this place. Really? I want to be a grown-up so bad. Oh my God, it's finally happened. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Why is this cupboard locked? That's where they bound the head. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> Reading glasses, you get those for your thousandth birthday. You are the only one that finds my deteriorating eyesight amusing. Uh uh. Come on, Jaybird. What we used to call Ellie when she had that fake tan. Um, Ben, beautiful. I I, I don't remember. Chester Cheetah. Blammo! <laughs> you were orange. I was glowing. Oh. Ease up, Ellie. We're friends, friendsing each other. Oh, we are not friends. Human beings cannot be friends with chimps. Sure they can. My buddy Daryl was best friends with his chimp, Binky. That's true. Until Binky turned six, and then he got angry one day and ripped off Daryl's nards. Yeah, they're still friends, but they're just not best friends. Hello. What up, Grey's Anatomy? Great show, by the way. Not ashamed to say it. You're preaching to the choir. Anyway, what's up? I just won 200 bucks in my basketball pool, baby. What should we do? How about you come over here and we'll pay off your giant bar tab? <laughs> come on, man. The tab's not real. It's just numbers. Right now, you can consider that money mine. Oh, man. Hello. Hello? Oh, hey, Woo. sorry, ma'am. I just I'm holding a lot of cash, and I thought you were about to roll me. You thought right. Oh, fudge. Thanks again for going over my finances with me. No problem. You buy a lot of tuna melts and breath mints. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> Lori, you are way too old to have pictures of actors on your folder. Oh, but look at his abs. He was like two years older. All right, fine. Five years. Try 20. Is he eight? Nope. Zach Efron turned 22 on October 18th. What? I Googled him last night. Why? Mrs. Zach Efron. No reason. Anyway, Laurie, you can absolutely afford this condo. There's just one problem. Your credit sucks. You can still get a loan, you just need someone to co-sign. Oh, no, no, no. No, sweetie, I love you, but I'd be watching every dime you spent. I'd be like your mom, and I so don't want that. You're my younger sister, I'm your slightly older sister. Oh, just let me have it, guys. <laughs> hey, Trev. You know how you said you needed money to take Kylie out? Well, I will pay you to yank this off. I tried the other arm and I almost blacked out. Mm-mm. Come on, drop the hammer for Mama. Mom, there's got to be a line somewhere, does it there? I mean, you're with me, right? Ow! Wow! I enjoyed that. Great, I'll see you every nine days. This couldn't get better. I'm keeping this. Stands corrected. Oh. Hey, Bobby. Robbed? Here you go, honey. I want to kill the 
bastard who hurt you. I, I don't care if they throw me in jail. I don't. I'm sorry, babe. I'm ready to throw my life away over this. I know, boo-boo. What if you had been killed? I mean, Travis wouldn't have a father. I, I could not handle that. I mean, sure, I'd get a lot of sympathy, and that would be nice. Ooh, probably a lot of random hugs from total strangers. Ew, why does someone have to die for me to get random hugs? Doesn't seem fair. No. Well, you're taking this pretty well. So are you, since it was your money and it got stolen. Excuse me. You said consider that money yours, ergo. You got robbed. I love hillbilly logic. That's not how it works. So I tell him that that's not how it works. So did you get a good look at the guy? Yeah, he had pretty lips. What? Kind of got mugged by a chick. <laughs> did she have a knife? No. A gun? No, a bat? No, Anything no, scary? Nope. You let an unarmed girl take my money. Oh, y'all heard that, right? He said his money. Yeah. Oh, we heard you were finding. Now you chime in? Well, now it's fun. Just to let you know, for the next few days, I plan on being indisposed. Go All right. Might freeze. I don't want to hear your sex stories. Because of you, I still can't use yoga mats at the gym. Or eat chocolate-covered anything. I'm just going back to my dermo. That's right, Cher. Barb's going to turn back time. Hello? May I help you? No one was here, so I thought I'd just do a little snooping. I'm gonna need more than that. Now, why do you have a post-it here that says I'm awesome? Because I am. I, listen, you need to get your crazy ass out of here right now, or I'm gonna call Plaza Security, and they're gonna rollerblade right over here in, like, 40 minutes. And if you try anything, I'm gonna stab you in the neck. With this clicky pen. Hi, Mom. Mom? <sighs> You're lucky. So, Mom, I haven't seen you since you ran off with that doctor. I heard he got busted for feeling up old ladies. He got off. It was a classic case of he said, they all said. Let me say that your daughter, Lori, is, is just amazing. She really is. She's my friend, and well, you're more than my friend. <laughs> Shut up. Are you two lesbians? Which one's the dude? We're not lesbians, Mom. I mean, she'd be the dude. Oh, come on. I can totally see us dating. We'd be like Ellen and Portia. I call Portia. I call Portia. All right, so did you talk to your mom about co-signing for the condo? Not yet. But hey, thanks for jumping in. Wow, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm i going to leave you two. Okay. Oh, my God, Lori. Your butt looks amazing in those jeans. Bye, Ellen. I'm going to be Portia. <laughs> Still grouchy about my alleged tab. Oh, head fake. Goodbye, delicious beer. Oh, mm. That's hateful. I felt bad about you getting mugged, so I bought you some stuff. A rape whistle to help you ward off other scary lady muggers. Some of that yogurt that makes old gals poop. Stuff really works. Like, boom! Got some tampons. Oh, awesome! Hey, if I put these in the machine in the ladies' room, can I get some nitro? <laughs> How are you not embarrassed? Sorry, Ellie. Can't be done. It's true. This is a guy whose main goal in life is to party so hard he craps his pants in every country. I already knocked off America and Mexico. <laughs> Mexico is easy. That's nice. Hello? Barb? I responded to your ad for an errand boy. There's money in a list on the table. When you return, knock like this. Wait 80 seconds for me to return to the shadows. 
Are you gonna murder me? I've done things to myself, things your sweet young eyes shouldn't see. This is weird. So my mom can't co-sign. Her job's not going great. What does she do? She pretends that people back their cars into her. Whatever, just not the right time for me to buy a condo. My mom's in crazy debt, so I think I'm just gonna help her get back on her feet. That's... Lori, no! That's your money. You tell your okay. mom that... Could we just maybe not have this conversation in front of everyone? All right, don't feel weird. We all have our embarrassing family members. Hello. That wasn't a coincidence. I was out back waiting for an entrance line. My dad drank himself to death. That's not embarrassing. That's horrible. He peed his pants a lot. That's a little funny. <laughs> My brother was a cheerleader, and he wears kimonos all the time. Say so you have a gay brother. Big deal. Rick's not gay. He's got a tabby shop up in Vermont with his roommate, Steve. Oh, he is gay. You think? Yeah, that's cool. The point is, we all have that relative, but you cannot get sucked up in their craziness. They will take you down with them. Jules, it's my mom. Honey, just please try to stay out of this, okay? Yeah, but no yeah buts. Just promise. Yeah, but... <laughs> all right, fine. I, I promise. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Grayson, you're gonna love the new penny can rule Bobby made. You have to sing when someone makes it. I don't care. You know what? We're gonna pay off your bar tab today one way or another. You gotta have something on here that's worth something. Does this work? Works as a container for old envelopes. If you're putting on a plate, it makes a good prop toaster. Penny can! You're right. I love it. You know, Bobby, the uh, mugger, She's got your wallet, so she knows where you live. Don't you worry, I got protection. To scare off intruders, I bought a barking dog CD. Ooh, rim shot. Ow! New rim shot rule. I like it. Ah! Hi, Sheila. It's nice to, um... Hello. I'm having a me day. New clothes, new makeup. Looky, permanent eyeliner. You can touch it. No, no, I trust you. No, no. Is that going anywhere? Okay, pl please let me stop. So you're Lori's mom. I'm Ellie. Are you a friend of Lori's too? I'm Ellie. You have nice hair. See ya. Well, she's not that bad. Come on, she is out spending Lori's money. I think Lori would want me to say something. Well, I'm gonna do it. Put the brows down. Entree! Got your painkillers. My will is fading. I'm sure it's not bad. Let me see. No! Innocence should be lost in the bedroom. Or on a commercial cruise liner. I can handle it promise be kind Talk. hello someone out there i got a vicious dog don't i boy <laughs> Embarrassed? Well, they're 
dog singing Christmas carols. That's a fancy oven. How'd you get someone to buy it for you? You must have a sugar coochie. I might have a sugar coochie, but I paid for that oven. Why'd you ask me over here? Look, Lori is in a place in her life right now where she can stand on her own two feet. I know as a mom, you, you don't want to get in the way of that. You have no right to judge me. I raised her. I paid for perms, candy cigarettes, real cigarettes. She owes me. Now I'm getting mine. You know, I don't normally say mean things. I think them. I write them on scrap pieces of paper and put them in my purse. I read them. At night to the mirror and pretend I actually am saying them. But with you, I'm making an exception. Now, there is only one good mom standing in this room. And her middle name is, unfortunately, Kiki. Well, it's a long, sad story. Uh, th the point is, you're a horrible mom. Jules! You promise. Oh, but... Oh, crap. It's not my fault, Lori. I, I was being nice, but then she stepped to me in my kitchen. Nice try, Kiki. Don't you dare. I love Lori, even if her being born was the reason her daddy left. Who says that? It's true. Daddy got his, though. Never got reelected state treasurer again. Who's laughing now, real wife and kids? <laughs> See, Lori's already got me, so stop trying to be her mom. We've already been over this. I'm more like her slightly older sister. Now, what the hell? Is this a family gesture? I'm out of here. Lori, are you coming? I'm sorry, Jules. I uh, so I gotta get my niece home because I never cleared it with her parents. You're right, Princess. Hey, hit the bricks. <laughs> I get why she's picking on me, but you, my guys, I'm Murdoch and Face. Until you pay your tab, I have no loyalty to you. Huh. What about you, Face? How's he, Face? He's not. Ellie thought it'd be good for me to see you knock off your pedestal. Andy, I forgive you, brother. <laughs> Ski face. You can open your eyes. I don't think I can. Stop being such a baby. A chemical peel is nothing more than a second degree burn induced by concentrated acid. You look like a grape. Does it hurt? Like a thousand sons of bitches. Barb. I'm so sorry. Thanks, kiddo. <laughs> I know you probably don't want to ever see me again after yesterday, but I, I wanted to come in, so. What are you talking about? Hey, I got us some donuts. What's wrong? I can't believe you don't hate me. Hate you? Oh my God, that is so sad. Well, now you're gonna make me cry too. Oh, crap. I think I just want it too much. <laughs> Look, that's your mom. Yeah. I'm on your side. I love you. You are so supportive and amazing and wait, That was your whole strategy, wasn't it? To be so super nice that I, I would just handle this the way that you wanted me to, to make you happy. <laughs> it's pretty genius, isn't it? <laughs> I made you dance. <laughs> I don't get it. You don't let anyone walk over you. Jules, my mom is scary. My whole life, she convinced me that I wasn't good enough to do, well, anything. Plus, she fights dirty. I mean, she knows the exact place to punch a person to make them throw up actually really badass no matter what i'm with you and now come here <laughs> tears i got it
you following me? Well, I don't work, so I thought I'd spend the day drinking in your embarrassment. It's so delicious. Hey, don't do that. A woman in there thinks she can tell my daughter how to act. Lady, just, just chill out, all right? Puke punch. Oh! Oh! God, it's gonna come up! What the hell are you doing? Don't bother me. Oh. times in my life that I've wanted to stand up to her. Gosh, you think she at all wants to be a better person? sex wrestle. Really? Oh, come on. I can share that. It's not like we wear masks or anything. Well, I don't. Hey, you know what I just realized, Deli? You took the time to pull the prank on me, and you had my back. That's friend stuff. We're friends again, aren't we? <gasps> Andy, out. I don't want him wetting the floor. Say we're friends. Look. Since you and Jules got divorced, I have noticed some changes. I think you're a good father. I think you're trying to be a less ridiculous person. So fine. Maybe we're closer to being... I'm your friend. Yes, your boyfriend. Don't think. Don't think. Surprise! Honey, if you want me to work over the weekend, you just have to ask. <laughs> no, these are the closing papers on your condo. I co-signed your loan. Jules? No, it's too much. No, no honey, I wanted to. Thank you. <laughs> it's over! It's over! I'm sorry, Barb. I don't know what spanks are, but I know I don't want to help you put yours on. Okay, bye. You know what I feel sorry for? because she's all alone. I mean, she's got kids of her own, but she won't ask him for help because she's not comfortable feeling vulnerable around them. Let's never let that be us, okay? It's time again. Oh, please, God, no. Grayson's not home, and you don't have to pull them off. Just hold on to the tape, and I'll run away. <sighs> One. Two. Ah! <laughs> the Oprah Winfrey Oscar special starts right now on ABC. 